Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try, but I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're going to have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Coming. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this, so she offered to come along. She is my favourite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay, I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I'd gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. 
They're just beginning to crawl. They're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's all right, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... I have the homeless man outside this house. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Hello? Hello? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. <laughs>